if you've come across a free instrument or effect you want to use that requires contact, but you're not sure what that means, what version you need, or how to install it on your Mac even, in this video I'll show you how it works. Contact is essentially a sampler plugin that you load sample libraries into. You can then play, record and edit those samples inside your DAW of choice using Contact. There are two different versions available, Contact Player which is free and the full version of Contact which costs around $149. I'm going to be demoing how to download, install and use the free version Contact Player in this video. The best way to get started with Contact Player is to grab Complete Start, a free bundle from Native Instruments that includes Contact Player, plus loads of free instruments and effects to get you going. I'll link to the Complete Start page on Native Instruments website down in the description below. On that page, hit Download for free and you'll be prompted to create an account and download the Native Access program for your Mac. The Native Access program works kinda like a hub where you can update and manage different instruments and effects so that they can be used inside Contact Player in your DAW. You want to go through the process of setting up an account if you don't have one already, then download, install and sign into Native Access. Inside Native Access is where you can install everything included in the Complete Start bundle. Contact Player 7 is probably the most important component here, this may be a different version depending when you're watching this video, but it's probably best to just go ahead and install everything honestly. Go to the Library tab, select All, and you'll be able to see everything available to install. Right, let's jump across to GarageBand next. I'll need a new MIDI track to load Contact Player up in. With the new MIDI track open, I need to open the Smart Controls window if it isn't open already, by either clicking the dial icon in the top of the screen, or using the keyboard shortcut B. Next, I need to click on the plugins dropdown, then hover my mouse pointer over the edge of the currently loaded MIDI instrument until these arrows appear. If I click here, a new menu will pop up. From here, I need to hover over the AU Instruments option then over Native Instruments, and then Contact 7 and the Stereo option. With that done, if I now click on the Contact plugin, the Contact Player window opens. From here I can select any of the libraries that I installed in the Native Access program. The Play Series collection includes this brilliant Analog Dreams instrument that has some lovely retro synth sounds that I absolutely love. And playing that using a MIDI keyboard attached to my Mac by the way, you can use GarageBand's built-in musical typing to play these sounds if you'd prefer though. I can move between the three instruments in this library with these arrows. and choose different sounds through this menu. To go back to the home page, I just need to click where it says Contact Player. The most important thing to check when you've found a new instrument or library that you want to use with Contact is whether or not it works with the free version, so make sure to check the system requirements before downloading or buying anything. Here's a couple of libraries that I recommend you grab first and how to add them to Contact Player. 
Jacob Collier Audience Choir is available for free direct from the Native Instruments website and it sounds absolutely fantastic. It allows you to play samples captured from 22 venues that Jacob Collier visited on his most recent world tour. You can adjust vowel sounds using the XY pad, control dynamics, timber, attack, release and more with its onboard controls and even dive deeper with more detailed controls. It's just brilliant. To get it, hit the free download button on the library's page, then under the already have an account section, hit get Jacob Collier Choir. You'll be asked to sign in if you aren't already, and once done, the library will be added to your account. Open the native access program on your Mac, head to the library tab, and install the Jacob Collier Audience Choir from there. Sonoscore Orchestra Elements is a really powerful orchestra library that comes with a carefully selected curation of instruments from Sonoscore's full premium, the Orchestra Library. How this is free is just beyond me, it's incredible. Adding this to contact is a slightly more involved process. You add orchestra elements to your cart on the Sonya Score website. Then at checkout, add in all your info. Once your order is done, you need two things from the product page. First, download the orchestra elements itself. It's around 4 gigabytes, so may take a while depending on your internet connection speed. While that's downloading, copy the license key that's a little bit further down the page. Next, open the Native Access program on your Mac. Then click on the Add Serial tab, then paste in the license key that you copied. This will add the orchestra elements to the contact library. By this time, hopefully, it will have finished downloading. Extract the zip file to whatever you want to keep it. Back in Native Access, click on Locate under the Orchestra Elements. Navigate to the extracted file and then click on Open. And that's it, you'll now be able to use this incredible orchestra library in your DAW. Let me know if you've used Contact in your projects and whether you went for the free version or the premium version. If you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it. And to get your hands on more free audio goodies that you can use in your GarageBand projects, watch this next. <laughs>